Watercolor can be really frustrating when the colors aren't moving in the ways you want them to. So let's discuss some of the variables that are gonna affect how much control you have and what direction the colors are gonna want to flow. And we're gonna do that by testing different variables on those dragonflies we painted the other day. First off, I'm gonna paint all the wings of the dragonflies. And then we're going to paint the bodies when the wings are at different levels of dryness. And one of the best ways to tell how wet something is is to hold it up to a reflection. Notice that the top one is very wet. It's really shiny. We can see the water flowing from one side of the wing to the other. The more water you use, the less control you have. So sure enough, when I add that body in, it just flows around to wherever it wants to go. In the second example, I'm gonna let that soak into the paper a little bit more. Notice when I hold it up to the reflection, it's still nice and shiny, but it's not moving around as much. And sure enough, when I add the body, it does a little more of what I wanted to, flows out into the wings with a little unpredictability. In that final example on the bottom, I'm gonna wait till the wings are just damp. Most of the shine is gone and I can really see the texture of the paper through. And on this one, the color mixing is the most subtle.